everyone. I'm Danielle Goss, and welcome to another edition of the Third Age Health Brief. It's that time of year again, the sneezing, coughing, fever, and chills with a side of body aches. It is officially flu season. Most people associate the flu as being a stomach virus, when in actuality, the flu, better known as influenza, is a viral respiratory infection that can prove deadly for some people. The Center for Disease Control has released some startling flu facts that may cause even the healthiest of individuals running towards their vaccine. Think you're invincible? Think that the flu can't get to you? Well, here are a few flu facts. Influenza, the flu, can be a serious disease that can lead to hospitalization and sometimes even death. Anyone can get sick from the flu. On average, 5 to 20% of the U.S. population will get the flu. 200,000 Americans will be hospitalized due to complications associated with the flu. Anywhere between 3,000 and 49,000 people will die each year due to flu-related complications. In 2007, the flu was the eighth leading cause of death. In 2010, the H1N1, or swine flu epidemic, resulted in 12,000 deaths with 90% among people younger than 65. People with flu can spread it to others. Influenza viruses are spread mainly by droplets made when people with the flu cough, sneeze, or talk. These droplets can land in the mouths or nose of people who are up to about six feet away or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Less often, a person might get flu by touching a surface or object that has flu virus on it and then touching their own mouth or nose. The typical incubation period for the flu is one to four days. Adults can be contagious from the day before symptoms begin through five to ten days after the illness starts. A regular case of the flu typically resolves after three to seven days for the majority of people, although cough and fatigue can persist for more than two weeks. Most healthy adults may be able to infect others beginning one day before symptoms develop and up to five to seven days after becoming sick. Children may pass the virus for longer. Symptoms start one to four days after the virus enters the body. That means that you may be able to pass on the flu to someone else before you even know you're sick, as well as while you are sick. Some persons can be infected with the flu virus but have no symptoms at all. During this time, those persons may still spread the virus to others. Some people, such as older adults, pregnant women, and very young children, as well as people with certain long-term medical conditions, are at high risk of serious complications from the flu. These medical conditions include chronic lung diseases, such as asthma, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, known as COPD, diabetes, heart disease, neurological conditions, and pregnancy. Since healthcare workers may care for or live with people at high risk for influenza-related complications, it is especially important for them to get vaccinated annually. Annual vaccination is important because influenza is unpredictable. Flu viruses are constantly changing and immunity from vaccination declines over time. Currently, there are only about 165 million vaccines available. The CDC recommends an annual flu vaccine as the first and best way to protect against influenza. The vaccine protects against H1N1, influenza B, and A. This recommendation is the same even during years when the vaccine composition, the viruses the vaccine protects against, remains unchanged from the previous season. The best thing you can do is to protect yourself by washing your hands frequently, avoiding touching your eyes, mouth, and nose, and drink plenty of fluids. Getting vaccinated is a personal choice, but should be considered with those who are at greater risk. However, if you have an egg allergy, consult with your health care provider as you may not be a candidate for vaccination. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the 38 Health Brief. I'm Danielle Goss. Thanks for watching.